given to a person who has been hurt or is suddenly taken ill. First aid is the steps you can take before a person gets expert medical help. First aid can sometimes save a person's life, but more often it is help given in an everyday accident or illness. Red Cross on First Aid First aid in sports is a critical component that ensures the safety and well-being of athletes and participants. It serves as a vital tool for an immediate response to injuries, promoting faster recovery. Understanding and applying first aid basics can create a safer environment and reduce the severity of injuries for a sports person. Welcome to this video on the basics of first aid in sports and physical activities. In this video, we'll explore the fundamental principles of first aid for participants, facilitators and practitioners. Join us as we explore best practices, crucial techniques and the do's and don'ts of first aid to ensure a safer and well-informed approach in the world of sports and physical activities. Let's start the lesson to empower you with the knowledge and skills needed to handle sports injuries effectively. First of all, it's crucial to understand the three P's of first aid. Preserve life, prevent further injury and promote recovery. Next comes the first aid kit. For a well-prepared first aid kit, it is crucial to know what makes it complete. A well-equipped first aid kit includes essentials like cotton, gauze, antiseptic solution, pain relief spray and balm, bandages and band-aids, scissors, gloves, diarrhea medicine, cold and flu medicine, painkillers, ice pack, hand sanitizer, oral rehydration solution, ORS, glucose and allergy medicine. However, it's also important to customize the kit based on the nature of your activities. After understanding the essential components of a well-managed first aid kit, the next important aspect to learn is its management. Always store a first aid kit in an easily accessible and secure location. Keep it in a cool, dry place. Create a checklist of the items in the first aid kit, noting what needs replacement or replenishment. Ensure the kit is available at every session and return to the designated first aid kit area after each use. Dispose of used materials properly in a dustbin. Maintain cleanliness, neatness and tidiness. It's important to emphasize that prioritizing safety is crucial both before and during the administration of first aid. This includes ensuring the safety of yourself, the injured participant and other participants. In the case of an injury during a sports event, the facilitator is the person responsible for administering first aid. This is important for two reasons. First, to provide quick basic care for the injury immediately and second, to assess the severity of the injury and determine if the person requires medical assistance. If the facilitator uses first aid correctly, he or she can effectively manage injuries and potentially ensure the safety of the injured participant. Apart from these, there are a few more important points that must be practiced for safer sports activities. The facilitator should host sessions to educate stakeholders on first aid principles and the effective utilization of the kit. Everyone should be aware of the contents and their applications. Before the activity starts, the facilitator should thoroughly inspect the ground for potential hazards such as uneven terrain or dangerous objects, etc. Clearly mark unsafe areas to prevent accidents and injuries. Always inquire about the medical history and any pre-existing conditions of the participants and keep the report handy during the event or activity. Compile a comprehensive list of nearby hospitals and their contact details, including information on local doctors and ambulance services for quick reference. Watch for equipment-related hazards such as inappropriate clothing, lack of accessible water and failure to wear safety gear. Address these issues promptly to minimize the risk of accidents. In dealing with injuries and applying first aid, understanding the do's and don'ts is crucial for best practices and the safety of all stakeholders. Attend to the injured at the earliest, but don't crowd injured person. Keep you calm and don't panic. Always maintain good hygiene and don't apply mud or dust on the wound. Never overlook head or neck injuries, 
and don't hesitate to call an ambulance or seek medical attention if the person is experiencing significant pain or severe injuries. Having acquainted ourselves with the fundamentals of first aid and optimal practices, adhering to these guidelines ensures a proactive and well-prepared approach to first aid. This promotes safety and facilitates an effective emergency response in case of injuries. Committing to these practices contributes to the learning of important skills for the 21st century, ultimately fostering a better tomorrow.